What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to talk about why is it so hard to get your first job in web development. Before some of you start typing down in the comments there saying Hey Telmo, hey yeah, I know why is it so hard now to get a job because there is a lot of people trying to get into web development that's why it's so hard, there is a lot of competition, blah 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 all these kind of excuses but this is not the main reason why is it so difficult to get your first job. There are plenty of jobs and there is plenty of demand for developers, even for junior developers, I'm telling you. But the main reason why you can't like get your first job like so easily is because there is no places that are actually training you to get a job. Most of the places, I'm going to tell you exactly how, how it works because you, you have noticed by, by now when I was in the university, for example, having my degree as a civil engineer, in the last year, I remember one of my teachers, he was actually like mentioning it in a class and saying, guys, you are in here in the university, you are studying, you are getting a lot of skills and everything, but once you finish your degree, nobody, nobody is helping you going and looking for the job nobody is helping you writing a good cv nobody is helping you actually going after looking for the job and this is exactly what happened to me i finished my degree but my degree didn't help me in anything like how to write a good cv or or for example even now talking about web development there are so many boot camps out there and uh, online classes and everything all of them, they all just care about is giving you a certificate. And most of you guys still think that the certificate is the most important thing. But if you, have, if you ever took one of these online degrees or any of these certificates, I've seen people like uh, caring so much about uh, the Udacity on a degree or the Treehouse or, or Udemy certificates. They care so much about it because they think this piece of paper that you just have, you will show it to the company or to whatever and they will say, wow, you have this, <laughs> nobody cares about this certificate. And here is the problem that I'm trying to tell you. All these places where you are learning uh, all the skills that you need to become a web developer, yes, they might give you all the skills, all the knowledge that you need in, in order to, you, to, to do your normal day-to-day -day job as a web developer. But most of these places, I'm not going to say all of them because I'm not sure, most of them, they will not prepare you, they will not help you in order to, to get a job. Like I'm saying, how to write a good CV, how to write, how to update your, your LinkedIn. Nowadays, LinkedIn is so important for you to be complete to be up to date for other companies and recruiters to reach out to you and see really what are you capable of. All of these marketing things about how to promote yourself, how to put your name out there, to, to have more options to choose from. There is no place out there that is really helping you with this. All, all they care about is giving you the skills. And that's important, of course. But if you have all the skills and all the knowledge that you need, and then what? You finish the degree, you finish the online degree, you finish the university, and now it's time to get the job. What do you have to do? Nobody tells you. This is, this is what's wrong now in the industry. And that's what I'm trying to do with my channel as well. Trying to educate you guys, trying to give you tips because uh, I, was, I was myself like self-taught. I was doing sandwiches in a coffee shop, like I said before. I had to learn all of these things by myself. Um, and yeah, basically, this is what I'm trying to tell you guys that uh, once you finish your degree, once you finish everything, this is only half of the battle done. There is another battle coming up, which is trying to promote yourself. I tell you that I have plenty of videos on my channel as well. I can make some more if, if you still feel like you are not sure about what you have to do with your CV. With your portfolio website, this is another important thing and the projects that you have to put in there. Um, I talk about many times about uh, what's like the, the, um, the specific number of projects that, that I think you should have on your portfolio website. All these kind of things, all right? So that's why it's so hard to get um, the, the first job because you don't know how to market yourself. You don't know how to write a CV. 
Um, I had one of my students uh, coming up to me that he was like um, building the, the projects and everything and then he showed me his CV that he was trying to get a job and I was like wow this is like completely wrong and of course I was like helping him out with this uh, but don't don't th take this like in a wrong way because having just the knowledge is not everything having just the knowledge how to build the websites uh, how to know JavaScript or React it's important but it's not everything if you don't know how to market yourself th this is what I'm trying to tell you guys you need to invest your in yourself in knowledge how to build a good CV good portfolio good projects and then you will be you will stand out from the crowd to, to become uh, like the first candidate in, in other companies. All right, guys, I think that's it for this video. I think you know I'm not already talking too much. I think you already get the point of what I'm trying to transmit to you. Um, if you want some more videos in detail about these kind of things, just let me know in the comments down below. I think I'm going as well to create just a dedicated course just on this how to market yourself like as a web developer, uh, really how can you get into the industry, the steps that you need to take. Uh, if you would be interested in some kind of course like this, that I would be built, you know, like really, really detailed of all the steps that you need to take, just let me know in the comments down below if you would be interested, because if there is enough people interested, I might create a course for you guys to help you out in this kind of thing. All right, guys. That's it for this video. I think that's it. Hope you like it and I'll see you in the next one.